Thompson, who has not worked in Dominica for the last 30 years, um, and who appears to be, to be not using his PhD in any sensible way, um, clearly continues to demonstrate his, his, um, his, his ignorance of the laws and the constitution and the way of life of us in Dominica and in the Caribbean. Saying that they won't support, the, they're not supporting the decision to uh, recognize the Caribbean Court of Justice as our final court. I mean, this discussion has been around since 2000, well, way back then when the court was being established. We went to Parliament in 2005, they about, uh, to 2005-2006 to debate Dominica's accession to the courts. The opposition was led at the time by Mr. Williams, who supported the courts, and we had discussions um, following that in the Parliament too, and the EDLP has always indicated their support for the courts and so forth. The issue that we have not consulted people is, 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 is an untruth. We have had several, several uh, consultations far and wide on the courts. Um, the, the president of the court, um, Mr. Dennis Byron, has been in Dominica to, to speak about the courts um, to the private sector. We have, we have written, I have written to the private sector, um, all the private sector groups, all the unions, uh, seeking their views on Dominica's accession to the, to the court in its, in its uh, final jurisdiction. Um, Dominica has been a signatory to the courts. Dominica went to uh, the CDB along with all of the member states of CARICOM to sign on to um, the contracting of a loan. And in fact, the taxpayers are paying for this loan, uh, which, is, which is financing the operations of the courts. Now, what is the EDLP's opposition to the courts? They have not given you any reasons to, to, to the courts uh, as to why we should not go. The only thing he said, Thompson has said, is that um, we are not ready as a people to oversee our own affairs. Now, is this somebody who is aspiring to be a leader of a country um, or in government saying that the Caribbean people are not mature enough, are not intelligent enough? are not capable enough to manage their own affairs, then let us go back to um, our pre-independence period. Let, let us ask England to be, become our masters again, if we're not, if we're not able to, to, to manage our own affairs. And in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean, we have some of the brightest judges and lawyers you can find anywhere in the world. So Dennis Byron has sat on many UN tribunals, many courts in, in, in Africa, for example, courts established by, by, the, by the UN. We have, we have Caribbean juries sitting on the, on the ICC, I mean on, on many international um, legal tribunals because of their qualifications, because of their experience and because of, of the judgments that they've received. We have had in the Caribbean, even Dominica, people like Dr. Liverpool and, 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 and uh, Mr. Um, Justice Georges, may soul rest in peace. All of these people are world-renowned and world-respected um, ju juries. And for us to say, for the European to say as a party, that in the second decade of the 21st century, that we're not prepared, that we believe that a white person in England who, do not, who doesn't know anybody in the Caribbean, who doesn't know about how we do our life, our way of our life, is more qualified than our own people to manage the affairs of our country. This is a very sad state. It tells you that the UDLP is bereft of, of ideas. They, they, they are jumping like, like jumping jacks all over the place. They have, they, 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 today they, they support something, tomorrow they oppose it, and the next day they have something new to talk about. The next step is to follow the provisions of the Constitution. And, and uh, we have to go to the Parliament and follow the, the provisions of the Constitution in terms of recognizing the courts. Um, so we will go to Parliament very soon to start the process because at the, there has been a bit of a 90-day period between the first reading and the final reading in, in the Parliament. Um, so we have to go to Parliament could, very soon. Could that be at the next sitting? Definitely it will be at the next sitting. And that should be next month or I think in April? Or very, soon, very soon. Very soon. So we believe that the, the, the Caribbean Court of Justice is the best thing for justice in Dominica and justice in the Caribbean. It will allow for greater access to the courts. How many Dominican, how many ordinary citizens of Dominica can take any matter before the Privy Council? How many of us can afford it? People who have gone to the uh, Privy Council are governments because they have the treasury to support the greater government and, and a few um, rich businesses and rich individuals. The vast majority of people 
um, have no resources. And most of the cases that have come from the Caribbean to the um, Free Council are people who have been placed on death penalties. And they have been able to represent themselves because they are foundations in the kingdom who are opposed to the death penalty and who have been financing the people's appeals um, to the um, Privy Council. But we believe that it will cause for there to be a greater um, justice for all our citizens in Dominica and the Caribbean. And it is a mature move, it is a responsible move, it is a progressive move, and it is a move towards gaining our full and outright independence as a people, as a country, and as a region.